You are listening to The Diary of a Wannabe Writer, presented by Richard A. Boxshaw, in which I chronicle my life and attempts to become a professional writer by, you know, doing some writing. Daily. Hopefully. Hello and welcome to The Diary of a Wannabe Writer. Now, I've talked to you in the past about the way I've written songs that tie in with uh, my books. And I have played to you a song, Hikikomori, which is, well, it's called Hikikomori, Hikikomori and in brackets, Freddy's song, which is uh, a song based sort of in the head of um, my character Freddy from my book, The English Hikikomori. Now, actually, I've written quite a few songs over the years, and every now and then um, I'm going to throw one at you via this podcast. So the one I'm going to talk to you about today, and indeed play you, so I won't be talking to you about it very long, is called 80s Retro Party. Now, the genesis of this one is particularly weird. I was on a flight, because I've been a flight attendant for quite a long time now, I was on a flight to Cape Town in South Africa. And this is how long ago it was. I was on a 747. Um, and there are these wonderful bunks that are actually, well, a lot of the bunks are upstairs on aircraft, but this one, these ones are like up some stairs through a little ante room where you can sit down and rest. Uh, and then up some stairs. Although, actually, was it? No, I can't remember which variant we were on, actually. It was a couple of different... Anyway, I digress. Um, the song came into my head, the, the kind of let's have an 80s retro party. And it seems like yesterday, remember when we had the Iron Lady at number 10, that couplet just came to me. Um, and I just, oh, that's all right. And, and unusually for me, um, I had my phone on me. Now, at that time, we didn't have um, a phone as part of the job. We do now. So if an idea comes to me, I'll just add it to the notes function um on on my work phone and then just you know airdrop it across uh when 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 the flight's over but on this occasion i had my personal phone on me which i don't normally do i didn't normally have it on board well i had it on board but it was in my it was in my carry on bag and it wasn't usually in my pocket but for some reason i did have it in my pocket so i wrote down let's have an 80s retro party and i wrote down that couplet um and that was all there was to it um and then i kind of when i did the music i had a very particular feel i wanted it to have now those who know me know that i'm a huge pet shop boys fan so I really wanted it to sound, uh, I mean, my voice is nothing like uh, tonally or as, as good or interesting as Neil Tennant's, but I kind of wanted it to feel a bit like a Pet Shop Boys song. And the so so one of the choices I made, um, even before I did the music for it, was there is a noise, a sample um, called an orchestra hit, which you hear in a lot of sort of late 80s and early 90s music. And it just sounds like everything in an orchestra is being played at once. So um, in the Pet Shop Boys song, So Hard, it's the bit that goes, da, 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 that bit. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, and I really, and in fact, I think So Hard as a song probably really did actually inspire this one in terms of how I put the music together as well. There is definitely a bit in the intro where I go from a major key, uh, sorry, from a minor key briefly to a major one, which I'm pretty sure is what they do in the intro of So Hard. So it absolutely was um, influenced by that. The lyrics, one of my favourite cu couplets from it, because uh, well, for a start, the original lyric was, um, and no one regrets the tears they cried, we all remember when Lennon died. Um, and I'm a Doctor Who fan. And I thought, nah, I'm not putting Lennon in there. I'm going to put Adric. So Adric is a Doctor Who companion that died in the 80s um, in, in a Cyberman story. And he was, everybody was surprised that he died because at that point, you know, it didn't happen very often. Unlike, the, you know, the slaughter companion slaughter fest that is modern Doctor Who, it was very unusual for a companion to die on the show. I mean, that was 1981. And I think the last time it had happened was something like 1966 or 65. So it was, you know, it'd been a long time. There was another lyric, because at this point I decided, oh, I'll put one pop culture reference in, might as well stick in another. So there's another, another lyric that goes, uh, we grew up with Penfold and Danger Mouse and graduated to Acid House. Um, I really like the song. If I've got a criticism of it now is it ends too early. I think it should have had a third verse, which it doesn't. Well, I even wrote a third verse, um, which went, um, um, the girls wore neon and shoulder pads and acid washed jeans were for the lads. A, a decade that got into your brain, but, but with a little hindsight, it was quite insane. 
And I never used that in the final version of the song. I did an extended mix that had that in, but I recorded it a long time afterwards. And weird, it just doesn't sound right because because I recorded the vocals in a different recording session, they've got a different tone to them and I sing it differently and it just doesn't quite work. So I really wish, because I really, I actually like my performance in this song, unusually for me. Um, and yeah, so I really wish I'd recorded that third verse, had a bit more of a middle eight, and I wish I'd taken out the vocoder, or sort of, not the vocoder, but the sort of spoken bit at the end. I wished I'd had less of that and more of the third verse. But never mind, I've waffled on about it far too much. Um, here is a song that I'm fairly proud of. It's called 80s Retro Party. That's You have been listening to The Diary of a Wannabe Writer, presented by Richard A. Boxall. Thank you for tuning in to my random ramblings. And if you'd like to know more about me or my projects, visit my link tree at linktr.ee forward slash Richard Wright, capital R. 
capital W. Thank you for listening.